Hi guys, I'm Rama of Common Room and Pop Junk Club, and today I'm going to teach you how to take engaging photos using your mobile phones. Disclaimer: I'm not a professional photographer. Oh my gosh, so bena hakahaya yung mga photos namin for Pop Junk Club before. So, papakita natin sa inyo para hindi kayo ma intimidate. Kasi nagstart pa kung ganon, and now I shoot. Most of the products for Common Room, I guess it's really learning from experience. You really have to try so that you can make the mistakes already and hopefully may makuha kaya sa mga tips na ituturo ko today. Ngayon, sobrang importante ng online shop ninyo. Wala tayong kasiguraduhan if magno-normalize ang foot traffic sa mga stores, correct? So your store is your social platforms, your web shop, ganun siya ka-importante now. So, dapat, kung gaano kaganda yung products mo, makikita siya sa photos nyo. So, if your photos don't give your products justice, wala rin bibili online. So, that's why it's so important, especially now that everyone's trying to strengthen their online platforms, their web shops, etc. So, how do we create engaging photos? For me, what's really important is you have to know where you're going to use it. Kasi when you're shooting photos, there are different ways of shooting a certain product. Are you going to use it for your web shop? Or are you going to use it for your social media platforms? Both, they have different objectives. When it's for your web shop, it's really product-centric. It should show the real color as much as possible. Kasi in your web shop, you're not trying to create a mood. You're trying to sell your product. So you need to be as transparent and as real to your customers. Kasi you don't want naman that when your products go to the customer, they have a different expectation of what it looks like because your product is so filtered. When it's for your social media platforms, hindi naman siya sobrang product-centric. Kasi you don't want naman to connect to your shoppers and seem like you're just super overselling and over-promoting yourself, right? You can create a mood in your social media platform that is in line with your identity as a brand. Let's say your brand is about nostalgia. So your filter that you use for somehow very grainy, vintage effect because you're trying to convey that feeling. While you can still show, of course, your products in your social media platform, mas less yung product-centric photos. Kumbaga, it's always the product with a certain element. It's going to make it easier for you also to caption because yung photo mo mismo has a message in itself eh. Nung kinukuhanan mo yung photo na yun, meron ka nang gustong sabihin. Pero kung nagbebenta ka, aminin mo, hirap na hirap kang mag-caption, di ba? Kasi isisipin mo, am I being insensitive? Di ba? Ganyan, iniisip mo. Kasi the only purpose for that photo is for you to sell that product. So, pwede mo pa rin naman yun i-post for your social media platforms. But again, not all the time. Ang haba ng one tip natin. <laughs> so, that's one. Always know where you're going to use those photos when you go into a product shoot. Another tip is, since you're going to shoot naman, nag-set up ka na rin naman. When you do it, you shoot for both platforms. Because we're all DIY entrepreneurs. Tayo gumagawa lahat. Tayo nagpapak, tayo nag answer ng social media messages natin, tayo nag answer sa web shop, emails. Lahat noon tayo gumagawa. And oftentimes, ang nininiglek natin is capturing the moments of being an entrepreneur. Those are the stories na importante on your different platforms. Kasi that's part of your business. But because it's not the most pressing part of doing the business, Minsan na neneglect, aminin nyo, antagal nyo na sa business, yung iba, hindi pa rin magaganda yung photos, correct? Because it's not really as pressing as the other stuff. But again, since everyone's pivoting into the digital platform, importante talaga na mag-upskill tayo on this. Since, ang dami-dami natin gagawin, naghanda ka na rin naman, naglatag ka na rin naman, always shoot for both platforms. Mas maganda that you overshoot, kaysa sobrang tinipid mo and then na-realize mo, may kulang ka na shoot, uulitin mo na naman. Another tip is, on top of shooting for both platforms, shoot mo na rin every time your progress. 
Pwedeng hindi mo siya gamitin. Pwedeng it's not your identity. But you never know when you're going to use it. And hindi mo na mababalik yung moment na yun. Isang beses lang yun mangyayari sa life mo. So might as well document that process. If it, you're not going to use it for your brand, then no. But if you're going to use it, at least you have. So I guess doon na tayo sa shooting part. Our tutorial for today will focus more on how to create engaging photos. So it's not really about editing. If you don't have a an a, DSLR, di ba? Sobrang DIY photographer ko na hindi ko man lang alam yung tawag sa mga camera na hindi cellphone. So, sabihin ko na lang. Ang kailangan natin is phone lang. Phone na lang. Huwag na natin isipin yung isa. Preferably, sana it's 12 megapixels. But if not, kaya nating dayain yan, guys. Don't use the front camera. Always use the back camera kasi mas matas yung quality sa back camera. Next, you need a, a backdrop. Ano ba yung usually backdrop ng brand mo? Dapat consistent yon. It really depends on how you want your pages to look. And siguro naman napag-isipan nyo na yon. Kung hindi nyo pa napag-isipan yung consistency ng look ng mga pages nyo and your web shop, then I guess the tip here is, I won't be able to answer that for you, but the tip is, look at the things that interest you when you're looking on Pinterest, on other social media pages. Ano yung treatment ng photos that excite you? Try to recreate those photos. But importante na interesado ka sa itsura ng photos mo. Kasi taking photos is work, di ba? To encourage yourself to always take photos, dapat it's something that really excites you. Minsan, wala kang reason, pero gusto ko lang yung area and stuff. Nagtitake ako ng photos. So, ganun siya ka-importante. You set an environment that makes you excited to take photos. Guys, bakit ang dami kong sinasabi? Ang sinasabi ko lang naman ay backdrop. <laughs> Kailangan nyo ng backdrop. <laughs> ay, my God! Telling nyo, bela na naman tong aming video. So, props. Again, props that excite you, ah. Huwag yung pinipilit nyo lang na leather yung product nyo. And then, sobrang uso kasi na may mga dried flowers na nagkalat sa paligid. Kahit leather kayo, tatapunan nyo ng flower. Diba? Siyempre, hindi. So, hindi tayo sasabay sa trend. Mas sasabay tayo dun sa mga bagay na interesado kayo. Yun yung gagamitin natin. Props for your products. Okay? Guys, kailangan talaga natin ng model. Not all the time. Pwede yung mga kamay nyo lang, etc. But, kailangan natin ng model. Especially if accessories ka, fashion-related yung product mo. You really have to show how the product will look on a person. Kaya, importante siya. So, in case you don't have a model, kasi nga, DIY everything, right? In case you have a model, then you need to invest on a tripod para you can shoot yourself. Pwede yun. So, model ka na rin pala. Yun lang. Wear white. Recently ko lang din natutunan yun. Kasi if you wear dark, you absorb the light. So, nakikipagkumpetensya ka pa sa product mo. And you can also serve as your own reflector. So, nagbabounce yung light sa'yo. So, important that you wear white. Importante din na meron kayong reflector in case. Not all the time naman. Pero sometimes kasi yung angle ng sunlight, it creates a lot of shadows. So the best way to bounce that sunlight is using reflectors. If you don't have an actual reflector, okay lang. You can use a white cardboard that you can use to deflect the light para mabawasan yung shadow dun sa other side of your product. Sometimes, hindi natin maiiwasan that kailangan mo mag-shoot and sobrang tarik ng araw that time. So, we can use a diffuser for that. Hindi mo kailangan ng actual diffuser. Pwede nating takpan lang ng konti yung window para lang hindi sobrang diretso yung light. Or we can also use a parchment paper. So, para lang mabawasan yung tarik ng araw. Natural Light is really your best friend, tulad nga ng sabi ni Tin sa isa nating video that you can check out also. Pag hindi pa sobrang taas ng araw, so lunchtime is really a no-no. Sometimes, mas maaga kang pwedeng mag-shoot. Maganda din yung araw ng golden hour. Four, four, five. Memorize nyo na yan para hindi kayo mapapahiya pag gumagawa kayo ng mga YouTube tutorial like this. <laughs> There are seven shots that you need to achieve with one product. One is the simple flat lay shot or eye level shot. So that's the main product photo. Second is an angled or a close up shot. Next is product with another product for size reference. Fourth is product 
with its function. Another is product with a human element. Six is for your stories. Para full yung frame mo on your IG stories. The seventh one, if you're feeling a little bit extra, is a behind the scene type of product shot. So, we'll recreate it kasi baka mas magamit mo yun kung you're the type na you're shy to show your process, then maybe we can just recreate it using the props around your product. So there, th those are the seven shots that you need to take when you're taking one product. The next is, tama na ang Let's just start taking photos. So, better na naka one by one na siya. Kasi most of your web shop photos are already one by one. Either you wanna show the texture of the card, we focus on the word progress. So, when you post it on your Instagram handle, then you can still make a caption from it. Let's take another angle. So here, what makes this photo is interesting are the lines. It gives the shopper or the viewer an idea of its size. Diba? Because the one that we shot earlier can look like a big art print, right? Because it has no context. Eh. But if you put it in the context of another product, you would know that it's not billboard size. So it should make sense. The props that you're going to use for it should make sense. Because even if they sila, there's a way na mas interesting siya kasi baka sabihin ang boring ng photo. Diba? You can hide some like this. Shoot it in a very maximalist para ma-capture mo agad yung attention nila. Especially sa common room, guys. Sobrang daming products that are like screaming for attention. So you have to give each product a fighting chance to be noticed. I love negative spaces, guys. So mapapansin yung photos ko, maraming negative space. Because the focus in the shot is the item. Not the background. Usually, the best shots is yung naglalagay pa lang siya. Doon pa lang, guys, may shots na agad. Especially kung family mo lang yung nagmamodel. So, very conscious sila sa cam. So, you really need to find ways for them to act natural. Ito na na ito. Yeah, ito ni Ate Okay. Sometimes the best photos are the one that's not scripted. Even the best flatly mess are from real mess. Si kanina hindi ko siya makuha as in parang shock sa kakahiya yung mga photos ko. It's because I'm trying to force it. Guys, huwag kayong magpapasindak sa mga tips ko, ha? Tips lang yon. So, pwede nyo siyang i-apply, pwede nyo siyang hindi i-apply. What's important is that you enjoy the process. You want to share your product to the world and you want to share it in its best light. Kung na-overwhelm ka sa mga dapat mong i-shoot for that day, you go back to the reason why you're shooting it in the first place and that is to share your product to the world. And yon, and dami ko na raw ang sinabi. So, mag end na tayo para hindi naman telenovela ang series natin. Ayun, I hope you learned something today. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. 
look at our past videos and dami na rin namin tutorials. We also have video editing, etc. So, hope you can check that out. Subscribe, um, join our community on Patreon, and that's about it. Enjoy, guys! Hope you learned something. Bye!